So you're coming at you with another tutorial today. I'm a little frustrated. I've already done this tutorial twice. Um, so hope I really, really hope it doesn't happen again where my audio screws up. But today we're going to be doing that Twitch effect uh, that you saw in, in the uh, preview here. Um, it's going to be a Twitch with a nice light burst, brightness, uh, and wiggle there. Uh, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's, it's a lot of effects to add. Uh, as you can see here, it's a lot to do on one clip um, just for one effect. So uh, I guess we'll just get straight into it considering I don't feel like taking an hour on this. Um, Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we're just going to make a new composition here. We're going to call this Tutorial 2. Uh, 30 seconds, 59.94 should be fine. Um, I might have to refer back to my other compositions just for some settings, because it's a lot to remember. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to drag our clip in here. We're going to go to the point where he takes the shot. You can see the gun pops up right there, and then wait for these numbers to come up, the 1050 you see there. So we're going to want to change our scale to 101 to get rid of those black bars. Mute the audio here. Um, so once we see those numbers pop up, that 1050, we're going to go forward frame by frame until those numbers pop up as big as that. We're going to want to search in our effects at presets for Twixter Pro. Once we have Twixter Pro, we're just going to drag it on here. Change the frame rate to 59.94. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, we're just going to keyframe our speed. Go forward one frame, change the speed to... 0.5 because we don't want much movement on this at all. You see, it'll get kind of glitchy there. Um, so now that we have that, we're going to hit U on our keyboard to see our Twitch or our Twixter keyframes. Zoom in on our timeline using that mountain looking thing. And that's good. We have our, our Twixter set up here. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add a CC light burst 2.5. So just search that up in your effects and presets. Drag it onto the clip. Okay, we're going to minimize our Twixter Pro window here. On your first. Um, Twixter keyframe here, go back five frames, so one, two, three, four, five here. Uh, keyframe your intensity and ray length, uh, bring them down all the way to zero. Go for ten frames, you can either count it out or you can hit control, shift, and right arrow on your keyboard and ch change these back up to 150. So you can see we get a nice little effect there. Now we're going to add, want to add a brightness and contrast. All right, so we can just add that on there. We're going to want to do this for the same keyframes. So just go back to where your CC light burst keyframes were. Keyframe the brightness and contrast. Go forward 10 frames. You should be even with your other CC light burst keyframes. Change this to, hang on one moment, let me check my settings here just so I make this right. Uh, it should be 30 and 5, I believe. Yep, 30 and 5. Okay, so we're going to want to change our... Um, brightness and contrast here to 30 and then our contrast to 5 so we get that little brightness pop but we also keep our our contrast and keep the darks dark because that's what we want we want this to look good without being like wow that's freaking bright you're giving me a seizure um, unless that's what you're going for I guess because some people do that in over edits um, so yeah the next thing we want to do is add in our gun sounds we want to go to the point of the shot here and you can see our shot is right about, just want to make sure, right about there. Uh, so we can just hit Control 8 to add a marker there for our shot. And we're going to want to drag our intervention gun sound in. Uh, that link will be in the description down below. You can download the gun sound there. Um, we're going to hit left bracket to line this up and hit LL to make sure our audio is where we want it. It is, so we can we leave that audio how it is. Um, now we're gonna, what we're going to do what we're going to want to do is drag our intervention gun sounds in yet again. And on this layer, you're going to want to right click, time, enable timer mapping, right click again, go to time, and time reverse layer. So now we have a reverse. So if I hit LL again to see, oops, LL to see our thing, it's backwards now. So it's the same, same gun sound, but it's backwards. Um, and then we're going to want to right click on the parents right here, right click, and then go to columns. Make sure stretch is ticked and enabled. And then on this uh, reversed intervention layer, change that to negative 200. And you see that just elongates the process. So we're just going to drag this and overlap the shot just a little bit. Uh, not too much, though. You don't want to dra drown the shot out. Um, so that's it for that. Now all we're going to do is we're going to add our um, twitch here, which is the most kind of, which is the hardest part of the tutorial. So it's a, it's a third party plugin from Video Copilot. I really recommend you download it. It's very, or uh, you buy it. It's very useful. Um, so I think it's an awesome plugin. So we're just going to minimize all our other effects here. Now we're going to want to go to the shot and go 10 frames before the shot. 
I'm sorry, go, um, let me make sure on my other settings here. So we have our shot, uh, okay, yeah, I remember how to do this. Okay, I'm just making sure so I get this right for you guys. It's a lot to handle, and, uh, I, I want to do it good, or do it well here, so. On our shot for the Twitch, if we hit LL to see our key, for, or on the wrong one, on the time reverse, if we hit LL, we can see where our audio starts to climb up and get louder. On that point, that's where you want your Twitch to start. Um, so on our Twitch here, we're just going to go and we're going to tap the Enable tab down or Enable Scale and Slide. Once we have that enabled, we're going to keyframe both of these and drag them down to 0, 0, 0. Go for 10 frames using Control shift right arrow like I showed you. Take these back up, and I'm going to check the amounts just one more time. Uh, it is, it's 50 and 25, so the amount is 50, and the speed is 25. Um, so if I hit U on our keyboard here, we can see our Twitch keyframes. We're going to want to go forward to the gunshot. Keyframe these again so it stays where we want, and then go forward a second-ish. You don't have to go forward a full second. Uh, it's all based on what you like. You can go forward just a little bit. Um, and now we're just going to drag these down to zero. And now you see our Twitch builds up. It shoots, our light burst comes in, and our Twitch starts to fade away, which is exactly what we want. It looks really nice, especially with the sound effect, and if you sync it to your music, it looks awesome. But we're not done yet. We have still have two more things to do here. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add a scale here. So we're going to hit Shift S, so we can bring up our scale without losing everything else. Uh, on the scale here, you're going to want to go to where your, your Twitch is at its full. So your second set of Twitch keyframes, hit the scale, uh, bring it up to where your gunshot is at this marker, bring it up to 115, and then bring it up to or bring it go to where your Twitch ends, uh, and then bring it down to 101 again because we need to keep those black bars away. We're gonna highlight all these keyframes and hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy ease. And now we have one thing left to do. That's all. I know it's a lot, guys. It's a lot to take in. So if you need to watch this tutorial twice, be my guest. Add it to your favorites. Do whatever you want. But now we're just going to add one more thing here. So we're going to go to Layer, New, Null Object. On our Null, we're going to search in our slider or effects and presets for slider control. Drag that onto your Null Object here. Um, go to where your gunshot is. Uh, no, we're going we're gonna to go to where our, our scale starts. We're going to keyframe the slider here. Then we're going to go forward to our gunshot, change this to anywhere from 10 to 15, I'll go with 12. Um, and then go to where your uh, CC light burst ends. You want to make sure, or where your CC light burst uh, second set of keyframes are. So it's where it's your your light burst is at its full. Um, then we're going to want to go to our clip, hit shift P so we can bring up the position without losing everything else. We're going to want to alt click our position here, type in wiggle, one comma, and then piggle whip it to your slider control. Um, we actually don't have the option here, so it's just going to give me, I'm going to click out and we're going to give an error here. We're going to hit U on our keyboard to see our slider control here. Um, go back to typing in this. Keyframe, pickle whip, not the entire clip, but just that uh, wiggle expression, the position, to our slider. Hit end parenthesis, make sure you do that, then click out. Um, if you don't hit the end parenthesis, you'll get an error. Um, so now you can see we're going to get that kind of wiggle here, which it looks really nice, uh, and it'll fade out with the clip. Um, so I'll play the uh, what it looks like one more time for you guys at the end, just so you can refresh your, your heads. Uh, feel free to watch this more than once if you need to. I know I would need to, but I spent a couple weeks adjusting these settings to how I like them. So I hope you all enjoyed. Leave any feedback in the comments but down below. I know it's a lot to take in. I'm sorry for that, but I just want to give you guys the right effect and make sure you guys are... Uh, are doing it right in your montages so um, you'll see this in like dubstep over edits uh, seizure edits I guess from like drunk or bake or any of them um, but that's really it for this tutorial leave a like leave a favorite leave whatever you guys want thank you all so much for watching and I'll check you all later I'm out peace